Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with a real blast from the past. I mean, this is something from my childhood and probably some years too, back in the early 90s, talking about Home Alone 2 and the talk boy. So if you ever saw the movie Home Alone 2, you probably saw this and were like, man, this is totally awesome. I always wanted one when I was a kid. My parents wouldn't buy me one, which is probably the story of a lot of people watching this video. It was like a hundred bucks. And I mean, basically all it was was just a tape recorder, but it's got some other cool things on here. Like you can do slow-mo to change the voice. It came with the cassette track that also had some of the vocals or some of the popular lines from the movie. And yeah, it's got everything you could possibly ask for. Runs off of four AA batteries. It's got the external speaker so you can record and then you can play it back so people can hear it. And that was kind of the thing with the movie was kind of pranking and spoofing the voice stuff, but really cool. And one of those things that I want to take a look at, and we're going to do that in this video. But before we get into that, I do want to say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, thank you for being here. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Now let's take a look at the talk boy. So like many a different electronics back in the 1990s, this was made by Tiger Electronics. They made all the cool things for us kids when we were growing up. This debuted in 1992 with the movie Home Alone 2, which was the big successor to the original Home Alone. What? <laughs> Come on! But this one was Home Alone lost in New York where the bad guys, they follow him, Kevin McAllister and his family to New York City. And everything in here is neat. So this is basically, like I said, it's a handheld recorder. It uses a cassette tape. So some of you kids or <laughs> maybe some other adults are looking at this wondering what in the world this is. So before digital media, before CDs, this is what we had. Back in the 80s and the 90s, we grew up with cassette tapes. So this cassette tape, would allow you to record your voice onto the little tape inside of here. So it has to be playing and running as you're recording stuff and you can affect the way that it outputs by how fast or how slow you run it. So you put the cassette tape in here and then you've got the record button up here on top, which is very easy. All the record buttons used to have like a little red circle or this, in this case, a red button. And then you've got the microphone here, which actually kind of extends out. So you get this little kind of positional thing going on here. So the hand goes up inside of this hard plastic piece which emulates a strap, kind of like on a camcorder back in the day. And then you got the microphone, which you need to talk directly into. If you talk over here or over here, it'll pick it up, but it's definitely very sensitive to recording here. So let's go ahead and give this a whirl. Howdy do, this is Peter McAllister, the father. I'd like a hotel room, please, with an extra large bed, a TV, and one of those little refrigerators you have to open with a key. Credit card? You got it. And we turn it on. The on switch is down here. And you've got two different modes. You've got on and then you've got slow mode, which will slow down the voice. And then, of course, the volume here. I want to say volume rocker. I'm so used to covering phones. But the volume knob here and then the headphone jack here as well. So you could plug that in if you want to listen with headphones on. So let's go ahead and try a recording. Oh, before we get to recording, though, I do want to show you. It actually has some of the pre-installed voice clips from the movie in here. I'll play those real quick so you can hear them. I'm not sorry. I did what I did because Buzz humiliated me. And since he gets away with everything, I'll let him have it. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen this movie. I wonder how many of these are on here. So it seems like they're pre-recorded. Yikes, I did it again. And they're a couple seconds after each other. Now we got our new nickname. We're the Sticky Bandits. <laughs> So it's got different sound clips from different parts of the movie in here. Sick. Pretty neat there. So I mean, I think I need to put it on the other side to actually record with. So we'll do this now. So now I'm going to record. Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today we're taking a look at the talk boy from the famous movie Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. I recorded it. Of course, now we have to rewind it <laughs> to go back to where we started. That should be good about there. Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today we're taking a look at the talk boy from the famous movie Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Clark. 
Now, I'm sure some of y'all want to hear what this sounds like in slow mo as well. So we'll rewind it again. We'll now put it in slow mode. And we'll press it again. There we so go. today we're taking a look at the talk boy from the famous movie Home Alone 2 New York. <laughs> so anyway, this is just a, a neat little piece of history. It goes back, look at some old tech that was really cool for at least us kids when we were growing up. I'm sure that our parents didn't like it as much listening to Kevin McAllister and other Home Alone 2 vocals being played on the Talkboy. But I always wanted one. They even made a Talk Girl they came out with later. I believe it was pink. And this was just something that was cool during the 90s. I always wanted one. My best friend had one growing up. And we always got to play with it going over there. But... I never had one of my own. So I saw this on eBay. I picked it up for like 25 bucks. It's in really good condition. Works fine with the batteries. And I'm so glad it came with the little mix track in here for the tape because it has the old classic stuff on here. And my kids are really getting a kick out of it. So that's all I've got today on this video. Not a real long one, but I wanted to go ahead and show this off and take a look at the talk boy from back in the day now in 2021. So that's all I've got. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully this was a nice trip down memory lane and you had a fun time watching it, brought back some memories. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section and I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.